to answer your questions, you guys. For those that are just now tuning in, welcome to Love on the Rock Radio Talk welcome, Show. Welcome. I am Stephanie Soul. Mr. Key. You guys, we are here every single week, 2 to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can tune in to this show and receive love and inspiration. We are a gospel radio show, so we are playing your favorite, your favorite gospel songs, your favorite inspirational tunes, mm -hmm. and um, we're just here for you, you guys. All right, now, Mr. Keys, we got a letter and someone has written in. Mm -hmm. All right, so the question is, how do I compromise in my relationship? So, you guys, we get letters that come in all the time asking questions where you guys want to know what me and Mr. Keys think. And one of those questions that you wrote in was, how do I compromise in my relationship? Now, uh, the writer gave us some examples of some of the struggles that this relationship is having. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to share some of them struggles okay, with you. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Keys, they're having some serious problems in the relationship. Okay, it seems okay. like um, there's some type of communication breakdown. Um, she wants him to go to church with her more. And she says that he doesn't like the church. Mm -hmm. uh, she also stated that, you know, um, he wants to sit and watch the game all day, and she feels that the game is actually boring. There's a lot of division here, and um, mm -hmm. she's really afraid that it could really hinder the future of their marriage and relationship. And they're writing in to Love on the Rock because they would like to know what we think. Man, man. I was thinking in my spirit, just what you just saying, that, you know, I think they gotta understand each other. I think sometimes we get into these relationships and we don't even understand each other, but we call ourselves in, in the relationship. And we find out that relationship, I feel, takes taking a chance. Absolutely. You know, uh, I'm gonna go, she might not like fishing, and you might like bowling. Sometimes you have to, even if it takes, I'm gonna give them some help, even if it takes 15 minutes, yes. 20 minutes to do what she likes. I love it. Sometimes you have to make something happen. It's all about compromising. I'm going to tell you, sometimes you have to do something that she likes or he likes and you have to work together. I love how you said that. It's it's compromising where you're saying as my as your partner, mm -hmm. I will sacrifice this amount of time to do something that you like to do. Mm -hmm. That's really good because that's showing that I care also, that I care right. about your wants and your needs. Now, Mr. Keys, tell me about this because she said he don't want to go to church where she go to church at. Like, he don't want to get his worship on where she loves to get her worship on. So how can they compromise here where he's really not feeling what, and we got to come to some type of ground because, you know, God wants us to be one as a couple. You know, right, he does. Right. Um, he wants us to have an equal yoke. So um, what would you, what suggestion would you give to this couple that's saying they're having a problem at where they choose to the fellowship? Got it. Man, man, that's a good one, Stephanie. Yeah. I was thinking in my spirit um, when you said that, um, man, it takes a lot of prayer because you love this person. Come on. You're in a relationship. Come you got to go home with this person. And you want her happy. And it takes a relationship, uh, a real relationship to really just stick together. Yeah. And you want her happy. But it seemed like, you know, you just, like you said, Steph, hey, I don't like the church. I believe you have to sit down and have to really just, we're going to say compromise. Yes. You have to go with her sometimes. Yes. Because there's going to be some things that you like to do. Like, you're, she's playing, not gonna, yeah. like you're playing football yeah. that's boring. I mean, you might have to meet her halfway. <laughs> Absolutely. You might say, I oh, I know I don't like this church, but I'm going to come. Because it's important to her. It's important. So you tell her, hey, mm, I'm going to come at least two Sundays. Or maybe one Sunday. Because you know I don't like it, but I'm going to try. It's all about effort. I love that. And that's what makes a relationship grow. Absolutely. Because you're trying. Absolutely. If you don't, guy, whoever you are, if you don't, then it will cause division. Yeah. Because she'll say you never. It's almost like if she wants to go to somewhere to eat, a, a, a restaurant she loves. Mm -hmm. You have to compromise and say, hey, you. you might not like shrimp, but she loves this. You will go just to please her. The other way, the guy, the same way. So I believe, Steph, you have to, mm, you should go. And I think you I, should, even if it's one time. I mean, what you got to say? Well, I was just going to say, what I hear you saying is that you really have to love your mate. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because when you love that person, you will be more than willing to compromise. Mm-hmm. Because you want to see that person happy. Yeah. Yes. You want to see a smile yeah. on that person's face. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna put forth that effort. You're gonna set those extra 15 minutes aside. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm gonna watch the game with you. You know. And so here's some things that you can do. I love what you said about compromising. Mm-hmm. But if you're the person that is bored while you're watching the game, get you a little activity like crochet or something while you're sitting there so that you can be entertained in your what you're doing while you're supporting your man at the same time. What I'm saying is, where there's a will, there's a way. But I know he was saying though, Scott, even on that game, he wants full attention. He wants to see, he's looking older, he's looking at him, <laughs> trying to see you you watching it with me. Baby, did you see the score? Yeah, did you see that jump? <laughs> What was second quarter? He, he want he want to know you ain't helping him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I would say, babe. Teach me the game. You you got you're gonna have to teach me. I'm teaching you. I told you third quarter. You I had to go get some popcorn, and you supposed to be watching third quarter. We watching this together. Right? Come it's, on, yeah, help that's, me, help the, me, that's help. that beautiful effort that you're talking about. That's that saying that I'm going to sit here and I'm going to learn this game with you, love. I'm going to figure out what it is that makes you happy. We're going to compromise and we're going to work this out. Same thing with church. Mm-hmm. I may not want to go with you, honey, every single Cause Sunday. Because like I, like I don't like your church. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I don't like your church. Uh, yeah. But what is important is mm-hmm. that you fellowship together as a family. It's important for your family to fellowship. So when it comes to the church, I want you guys to put a little bit more effort into finding you guys a church home that's good for your mm-hmm. family. Yeah. I think that that's really important. Now, on the other things, you know, there's, there's going to be some give and take. Mm-hmm. You know, when it comes to the football games or, you know, you may like scary movies and I may like comedies, you know. So you just never know why um, people may have division. Right. But, man, when you love each other, when you love each other, you're willing. And that's all you need to be is willing. Willing to compromise. Willing to hear your partner out. Mm-hmm. Willing to take and set some time aside to do some of the things that they like to do. Mm-hmm. And then celebrate you guys' accomplishments. When you sit there and you're like, babe, I watched the whole game with you. Man. Come on, give me some praise, babe. Yeah. Give, me, give me a pat on my love, back. You gotta love on You gotta love, love on yeah. the, and celebrate those things. It was a great time at church today, baby. Thank you for coming yes. and worshiping mm-hmm. with me. Don't just always make it seem like it's, um, it's, a, um, it's like a job. You know what I'm saying? Make it seem like it's a, it can be an enjoyment. And that's how you increase love in your relationship. We believe in you guys right, right. here at Love on the Rock. And we know that you can do it. We know that you can do it. Um, love is the key. You said it, love Mr. Keith. You said when you love them, mm-hmm. you'll make that time. Yeah, and you'll make yeah. those sacrifices. So um, we hope that we help you guys. And we appreciate you writing in. And I want you to know, you know, I know you had said uh, sometimes it's hard. I'm not trying to bring the fire on. Sometimes it's hard, Stephanie, he was saying, mm-hmm. that they even sleep in separate rooms. You know, it gets that bad. And you don't want to, like Steph said, you got to know what love is. Yes. You love this person, you go into another room, she in the other room, because he didn't watch the game, you didn't go to church. Then we don't have to question this relationship. Absolutely. We're going to you all, because we got to come on one accord. Absolutely. You know, it, I know they say the man is the head. and the, But I'm going to tell you this, it's all about compromising still. You know, you don't treat her like any kind of kind of thing. You know, you still you, keep dating yeah. her. You keep flirting. Yeah. You never ever stop doing the things that you did to get your mate. And ladies, that goes both, both ways. ways. We can't always expect them to just continue to love on us and do the things that make us happy. We also, ladies, have to make sure that we're still doing the things that kept our man's attention. You have to, and that's another way of expressing your love. Yeah. And that's love on the that's ride. It. That's it. Love it. And that's what it's about. Yeah. You all. We was talking to you about just compromising. You have to compromise in your relationship. You can make it better. Also, remember prayer. Pray together. It's good. I'm telling you something. Just pray together. And pray for him or pray for her. Sometimes even at 12 noon, you know how you like to eat? Everybody like to eat, right? <laughs> okay. Pray. I can eat. Right. right then, just pray for your relationship. Pray for it to be better. Say, mm-hmm. Lord, I want you to touch her mind or my mind. I want to help you all. This is what we do. We're here to help you. We're here not to talk against you, but to help your relationship. You hear me? So all of those that are out there listening on YouTube, all over the world, listen, we're here. You can make it. Your relationship can make it. Yes. You hear me? Keep the fire going. Yes. 